Hello, my name is Howard Berger, and I just wanted to bring to you again a CTE aiming that I've been doing for some time now. There's a lot of uh, people out there doing their thing on CTE. Of course, uh, Stan Shuffet is, is probably the Mr. King CTE himself. He has a book. He has a uh, hundred videos out there. Uh, sometimes his, his teaching is good. Sometimes a little difficult to understand. There's others that will also teach well. Uh, in my own in my own basic teaching, uh, I've done some good videos and not so good videos. But I am trying to make it clear for some of these uh, players uh, that uh, it's a good concept. You don't have to use it 100% of the time, but if you use it even 50% of the time or even 25% of the time, it's good when you need the insurance to get the balls down. So if you're playing eight ball or a nine ball game or just a, a, a situation where you really have to make the shot, CTE is better than ghost ball. Uh, some people line up their stick on the object ball to see the, where they hit it uh, when, when they're looking for a shot to go in. Uh, but you know, when you come back to the cue ball, sometimes you forget where you put the spot and uh, a lot of people just miss. CTE has its uh, drawbacks. Uh, sometimes English is a little more tougher than, than it is in a, in a regular ghost ball situation. But uh, based on the what I do in terms of shooting, at least you know it's going in. A lot of people just like to play center, center uh, uh, hitting no matter where you are at. So I think it's, uh, it's a concept that you really have to learn, pick it up, and it's definitely good to have in your bag of tricks. Now CTE is based on hitting the object ball and aiming from the cue ball to one of the three areas on an object ball. Three areas are broken into A, B, and C. They represent 15, 30, and 45 degree angles to the pocket. There's also a little dot on both sides, and you can see that uh, if you have a real deep cut, you can use those little dots on the, on the sides. Most of the shots that you're going to shoot on an average game are 15 and 30 degrees. So traditionally, you're gonna be aiming at the A and Bs almost all the time. Uh, now, a C can be uh, the other way around, in other words, if C could be 15 and the B could be, it's always going to be 30, but the A could, then could be 40 to 5 degrees, depending on the situation in terms of which side of the table you're on and the angle. But always the A, B, and C is going to be facing you, so it's always going to be like a 15, 30, and 45 degree facing you. Now, once you line up the angle to the pocket from where the object ball stays, and you figure out that, say, if you're going for uh, a shot uh, and you're looking for the angle. So the angle is important. You have to guesstimate the angle to the pocket because that's going to either make it or break it. If you, if you give it a wrong estimate, so if you're looking at a shot that, let's say, is 15 degrees angle and it turns out to be 45 degree angle, you're going to miss. So you really have to realize that uh, the angle to the pocket is important. Once you establish the angle to the pocket, let's say it's 15 degrees, you're going to take your cue and you're going to go to the cue ball and you're going to stand just like you would in any other ghost ball situation. Your leg is behind the, uh, the cue ball if you're right-handed, uh, your left eye diamond, so on and so forth. You're going to be behind that cue ball just like you would in ghost ball. But what you're doing right now is you're going to line up from the half a tip, whether it be on this side of the center cue ball or this side of the center cue ball. So you're a half a tip looking at A, B, or C. You're lining up right to those areas. Now, once you line up that area and you figure out, let's say the shot is a 15 degree cut, you're gonna line up to the A or the 15 degree spot and then pivot over to center cue ball. Once you pivot over to center cue ball, and using the uh, backhand, you're gonna pivot your stick right over then you're gonna shoot. And I'll show you a few shots and you could get an idea of, of how it works for you. Uh, like I said, it's a great concept when you really have to pocket the ball. Uh, so let's, let's do a few shots and we'll get started. Here's a little of an angle. Now, you could aim for the A, B, there's the C right there. But I'm gonna aim for the B. So I'm gonna to come to, again, from the right side of the cue ball aiming at the B and just pivoting over it goes right in. Now your angle is a little bit much 
tougher because if you could see, obviously you're looking at the ball, but I'm looking at the balls from the A's, A, B, and C, as it proceeds to the pocket. So my A is on this side, my B is on this side, and my C is on this side. If I hit the C, I'm just gonna obviously hit the cushion. And if I hit a B, it's probably gonna hit around here somewhere. So I'm gonna aim for A. So I'm aiming for A on the half a tip offset, coming to, to send the cue ball. Okay, I'm gonna put now we have a shot, and this is the angle. So there's your A, A, B, and C. It looks like a B shot. In other words, it looks like a 30 degree cut to the pocket. In fact, if you were using ghost ball, exactly that's where you would be. So I'm looking at the ball, you're coming back, you can look at the ball, it looks like a 30 degree, uh, 30 degree cut right into that pocket. That's the angle I would aim at. So I'm gonna aim at the B, that's the middle of that cube, the middle of the object ball, at the half tip offset. Here's my half tip offset. Then I'm gonna pivot over from the backhand and send. some basic shots. If this uh, 10 ball was going into the corner, I'm looking at it, and again, this is A, B, and C. It still looks like a B to me. It's going straight up. Most straight shots are Bs. So I would aim at the B shot, I mean B angle. So I'm coming in from the right side of the, of the cue ball, half a tip to the B, aiming at that B area, pivoting it over. There you go. Here's basically the same shot. So if I was to aim at the um, four ball in the corner, I would say, well, that's the same shot. It's a B shot. But now if I want to go to the side pocket, it's definitely not going to be a B because it's kind of like a little of an angle here. So we'll go back to it again. A, B, and C. So this looks like a C shot into the side pocket. So I'm aiming at the C now, and I'm going to aim right at the C from the half a tip from the left side, coming in, aiming at the C, and I'm going to pivot it over, and there you are. Okay, here you have the object ball. It's almost in the middle of the table. Um, I'm just below the dot. Uh, the angle to the pocket, if you look at it, it looks like a B, could be C, but we're gonna again, this is where you have to figure out which is the best angle. Um, so I'm gonna go with the, uh, B, the B angle. Let's take a look at that again. It's going there, going there, going there. So this is where it gets a, a little bit tough in terms of the angle to the pocket, but let's go with the B and see what happens. So aiming for the B, I'm pivoting it over. No good. So there you are. I was wrong on the angle. So let's, let's try it again. Now I'm gonna aim, see what you're aiming at. I'm gonna aim for the C. It looks like a cut, a little bit more than I thought. So let's go for the C. I'm aiming for the C now. Pivoting over. And there you are. So it shows you that the angle to the pocket is important. You really have to figure out the angle to the pocket. Sometimes you'll miss because of the angle to the pocket was a little bit more than you thought it may be or a little less than you thought it would be. So the angle to the pocket is important to make the shot. Sometimes in uh, CTE, you're going to get a tough shot. And that's where it really counts because uh, ghost ball, again, is tough sometimes. So in this particular case, the CTE is your insurance. I'm looking at the A but it looks like it's a really not going to happen. B, it's still a little tough on the cut. C is possible, but I think at one eighth is really a, a big angle for this one. So it looks like a one eighth. So I'm aiming for the one eighth to get it into the corner. And what I'm going to do is come from the left side of that cue ball, hitting it on the one eighth side, and then pivoting over. So I'm hitting it. I'm aiming at the one eighth. I'm pivoting, and there you are. Because it is a parallel, balls almost parallel to each other. Uh, I want to obviously make it in the corner, so it's a tough shot in terms of the angle. 
And you can say, what is the angle? The angle looks like it's way more than 15, 30, or 45 degrees. It's probably at least at one eighth. And if it's very steep, you actually aim for the edge of the cue ball. So let's go with a one eighth shot. I'm aiming for the one eighth on that ball, object ball, and I'm gonna pivot over. There you go. Very difficult, but if you wanna make sure that you get these balls in, CT8 will do it for you. So in other words, I'm looking at this ball. It could be in a, it could be an A, A, B, like I said, very similar. So you could sometimes use A and B, um, either or. I'm gonna go with the B, because it's kind of straight. So I'm gonna aim for the B from the half tip offset, aiming at the B, and just putting my stick over, and you're in. And, and traditionally, you could do those kind of shots fairly quickly. I mean, they're very, very basic, very easy. Just aim for the B, pick it over, and you're gonna go in. So it's really not difficult. Once you get the concept down, aiming for the B, Pitting over. These are kind of, these are basic shots that you you can do once you get the hang of it. It's relatively easy. So now you have a straight shot, and you say, "Well, there's no angle. It's 15 degrees. I could just shoot it in." Again, if you're using ghost ball, you could probably get it in. So if I wanted ghost ball, I may be able to just hit it in like that. But ghost. So whether you utilize ghost ball or CTE. Uh, the concept is basically the same. So if I'm going to come in, I'm going to look at the A. I'm aiming at the A from the from the half tip offset. I'm picking it over. So, there you go. so it's it's good. Like I said, it's uh, sometimes CTE is just as good as ghost ball. Sometimes ghost ball um, can help you. But if you have a difficult shot, then it uh, proves the CTE is definitely more reliable.